So hang on before rushing in to start our first Nessus scan. I'd like to show you how to create our own policies. Policies allow you to create custom templates defining what actions are performed during a scan. In the Nessus web interface, click Policies at the left side. You see that? Good. Click the Create a New Policy link inside the Policies page. Now here we have a lot of scanners. So in Advanced Scan, all the options are chosen by us without any guidance or recommendation. Basic Network Scan is generally suitable for any host. Internal PCI Network Scan is designed for internal scans, and it's based on PCI DSS standards. PCI DSS, uh, Payment Card Institute, and Data Security Standards, simply one of the most important information security standards. So it looks like the days when this uh, video was captured that Spectre and Meltdown are the are really new vulnerabilities. So here there is a scan specialized for Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities. This clearly shows how up-to-date Nessus is. Here there's another scanner specific for web applications. So let's configure our own scan. Click Advanced Scan. First, give a name for your policy. Now go to Discovery section. So we're in the Host Discovery page. Here we have a Ping the Remote Host option and the settings of the ping. If we're going to use the data we collected with Nmap, we can close this ping scan because we already have the lists of the hosts. Click Port Scanning to configure port scanning options. The default value of the port scan range is, well, default. That means Nessus will scan the ports, which is in its Nessus services file. Now I go to the terminal screen to analyze a Nessus services file. So let's find the file first. Use the find command to find the file. Slash means that the search will begin from the root directory. Dash name shows the name of the search file and hit enter. And here it is. You can stop the search using control C keys. I use the less command to see the content of the file. Here are the ports, protocols, and the default services which use these ports. Now I want to see the number of the lines of Nessus services file to understand how many ports are scanned by default. Cat command with a file name, pipe, wc to see the word count. The first number is the number of lines, the second one is the number of the words and the last one is the number of the characters. So we can say that 9,000 ports are scanned by default, which is the total of both TCP and UDP ports. But what if you want to see the number of TCP ports scanned by default? You can use grep before WC, type cat, file name, pipe, grep, TCP, pipe, WC. You will see the number of TCP ports scanned by default. There are about 4,600 TCP ports. Now, if you want to scan for all ports, you should type 1 through 65535 in port scan range field. So, here are the options to use SSH service for local port enumerators. So, let's have a short break here. If you have some credentials to scan some services in depth, you can define those credentials before the scan. So, here, select the credentials tab, and you see some services. When you click the SSH, for example, you will see the credential options. But let's remove this for now. Now turn back to Settings by clicking its tab. We were in Discovery Port Scanning page. And here are the port scanning options. Send Scan is selected by default. If you'd like, you can select TCP and or UDP scans as well. Now go to the Advanced section. Safe checks are enabled by default. So we can select scan IP addresses in a random order to make the scan a little more stealthy. Let's look at the performance options. We can reduce the number of max simultaneous hosts per scan to avoid delays in network traffic. Max number of concurrent TCP sessions per host is not defined by default. We can define an upper bound to keep the hosts safe. And again, we may define a maximum number of concurrent TCP sessions per scan to keep the network traffic safe. Now, look at the tabs on the 
top of the new policy page and you'll see the plugins tab. Right, so here we have tons of plugins used in Nessus Scans. If you click one of the plugin families, you'll see all the plugins of that family. You see the total number of plugins in a plugin family, and here are the plugins. You can click on Enabled next to a plugin to disable it. Or if you want to disable an entire plugin family entirely, for example, Denial of Service, uh, click on Enable Label next to the name of the plugin family. Click Save, and now we have our own scan policy.